Hi, today we're going to look at a couple of the differences between the Logitech C90 webcam and the PlayStation 3i in terms of use for computer vision tasks. Okay, so um, we've got the PlayStation Eye here on the left and the um, uh, Logitech C910 here on the right and that's reporting 60 frames a second this PlayStation Eye is reporting 30 though we think this one only supports 30 anyway and in order to get the high frame rates you have to use compression and JPEG and it's using a wide aspect frame 640 by 360 rather than 640 by 480. Can I see? Can I see? Okay. Now, the latency seems quite similar between the two, but the CLI seems a little bit jitterier, but it might also be because it's got quite a lot of contrast. And the MJPEG compression can really be seen in the image. You can see um, you can see lots of artifacts, whereas the PlayStation Eye image is quite smooth. You can see the noise in the PlayStation Eye image, um, the gain noise, but you can't really figure it out here because there's so much uh, artifacting. Uh, the other thing is, of course, there's the wide aspect. So, and you can see that the the edge of the image on the PlayStation Eye is around here to here, oh, I need to readjust that, okay, so, but hopefully, yeah, you can see that the, um, the Logitech's got a much wider field of view in terms of height, the PlayStation Eye's got a larger field of view, so that's due to the wide aspect. So that's it for motion tests. Uh, you can probably see as well the colour in the Logitech looks a lot nicer than the colour in the PlayStation Eye. That's not really usually um, of interest. And uh, if I just move this light thing. See the, the bloom on the, on the PlayStation Eye was much larger than the bloom on the Logitech. Okay, now onto stills tests. You can see that there's a lot of tearing on the image. This is the highest resolution, which I think is 2592. Um, highest resolution is 2592 by 1944. I'm putting it in un uncompressed in terms of um, image compression, but a color space compression of uh, UE2, which is um, two byte YUV image. Two byte YUV. Okay, so it's quite slow. There's a huge amount of latency, so if I put my pen within both views. It doesn't seem to have more than one frame latency, but it seems to bring up a frame about one every less than a second. But that's still quite useful. Um, you can see the focus here as it comes up on this part. I've got it set to currently the furthest focus, which I estimate is about 70 centimeters. The closer focus options go all the way up to uh, three and a half centimeters. Video capture filter. So you've got programmatic control over the focus, which is quite nice. Zero is furthest, but the first few values don't seem to do anything when it starts to come into effect. So you can see it changing the image there. So if I put my pen really close up to the camera, there's three and a half centimeter distance. 
you can see you can get a really, really close focus. But um, conversely, it's not got a fantastic focus range. And beyond 70 centimeters, it's all classed as infinity, which doesn't quite work so well. You know, is the image like up here? You can see um, it's a little bit blurry. Um, this camera is currently at 40 centimeters from the from the uh, the Logitech camera, and looks pretty much in focus. Okay, um, there is some artifacting. Lines aren't particularly uh, smooth, and they're quite consistently not smooth. I'm um, not sure where that kind of error comes from, but it doesn't look like averaging between frames would solve it. Uh, this seems to be quite contrasty. If I just turn the contrast right down, then we get quite a washed out image, which is a bit more like the um, PlayStation Eye. Um, we get rid of a little bit of that, that line. It might be the sharpness as well. I'll turn sharpness right down, put contrast over it. I think around 20 is good value for contrast. Okay, yeah, so with the sharpness filter turned off, you can see that this camera starts to become a bit blurry. If we bring back the focus, to bring the camera into focus, I think it should be around, um, that's infinity, it's around here somewhere. It's a little bit sharper. So perhaps um, this gives us quite a consistent image. There's still a little bit of artifacting. It looks quite clean. And it's high resolution and doesn't need any special um, drivers to get to this resolution. So under direct show using Theo Watson's video input library we can get this data. Uh, it gets converted to RGB which means if you want to get your black and white back out, then you need to um, well, you need to convert it back rather than getting the 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 your image in the first place. But perhaps you can change the library. Okay, so that's it for the um, Logitech C90 versus the PlayStation 3i. Okay, thank you. Bye.